first things first is coffee. Melbourne is famous for it, everyone knows that. So we have come to Guildford Lane and first stop is Crimper. Super busy on a Sunday and they do have a 10% surcharge FYI. Um, we weren't able to get a table but I hope that takeaway it is beautiful. We're off to see what else Melbourne CBD has to offer. Queen Victoria Market is the heart of Melbourne. You come here for all your fresh fruit and veggies. It is pretty old, it opened up in 1848 and one mayor of Melbourne tried to get it closed down to build up. The public said, hell no, and so it's still here and it'll be here for a very long time. It seems like the other side is all of the produce and then in here you have all like your clothing, your bits and bobs, handbags, scarves, hats, sunnies, all those random things that you find in markets. A tourist stop. <laughs> uh, but this place is absolutely huge and this is the busiest place we have been to in a long, long time. It feels very strange, isn't it? It feels yeah. like we're back to pre, you know what, 2019 and everyone's just back to normal. Only just a few weeks ago, what was it, maybe a couple of weeks ago, Australia opened up to international tourists and we can, yeah, we're starting to feel that. If you're in Melbourne on a rainy day, kind of like we are today, it's a little bit of like, it's threatening to rain all day. Um, this is a great place to come because it is pretty much all undercover. There are some sections between the buildings which are not undercover, but yeah, pretty much 99% of this place is undercover, so what a great thing to do on a rainy day. Yay. It just started raining again. <laughs> nice. CBD and I'm on coffee number two. Uh, Charlotte has gone for a vegan risotto. A vegan risotto. Um, so they have a pretty good little vegan pizza, pasta, and all that kind of stuff. And we're just sitting here watching Melbourne pass by on this rainy Sunday morning. <laughs> This little lane right here is on De Grey Street and I just had a vegan risotto from Espresso Mondo and it was absolutely delicious. I haven't had one in so long but it was surprisingly super yummy and just sitting there in the little courtyard outside, um, yeah, it just felt like it was somewhere else, didn't it? I'm Loving happy. Melbourne so far. and we are here at Hosea Lane checking out some of the locals artwork. Oh this is a lot of graffiti. Very cool though isn't it? Yeah. There's heaps everywhere. really funny graffiti like really uh, in tune with popular culture at the moment we've got Jeff Bezos here with some drones hanging above we've got Julian Assange down there we have Elon Musk holding up the symbol for Dogecoin as if it's Simba <laughs> it's really funny and we have Ali G up there with like a Pfizer gold-plated ring <laughs> I don't know who did this graffiti but they're pretty funny Hickson Lane we found the name that's where this spot is very funny A 
Okay, so near all the graffiti laneways, there is a place called Chin Chin, and we are currently downstairs in a little go-go bar, which is where everyone comes to have some drinks and bar snacks. Pretty cool vibe in here, and I've just ordered myself a gin and tonic. Classic. <laughs> Too loud for me, too loud. <laughs> but very popular, so many people in there, but they had the, this is just a me thing, but they had the music so loud that you just have to like constantly talk like over, like. <laughs> Corey doesn't care, but for me, too loud. Gong I'm trying to see if we can fit us in. We are super lucky to be so central here in Melbourne and we have come to a little place just out of Chinatown it's called Gongdi Lin and it is a vegan Chinese restaurant. We have a fried rice here and this is all vegan so this is pretend pork chicken fried rice with peas. <laughs> I have a stir fried vegetable and tofu dish and Corey's got a clay hot pot with potatoes, curry potatoes. here in Melbourne and the first stop is the State Library. It is absolutely beautiful. I've seen photos online and I'm really excited to go and check it out. At the top there's a place called The Dome. I'm going to go get an excellent view. <laughs> the top to view down off the dome. This library is absolutely beautiful. I'm a book nerd so I would just spend ages in here. I think it's so nice. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see the view. What are we liking about Melbourne so far? Well, it's full of like very old buildings. It was founded in 1835 on the Yarra River and so a lot of the buildings are from like the 19th century, like the one we were just in, the State Library. Um, but it feels very different here. It's a very different city. Like it's one of those places where there's so many laneways, there's so many little upstairs little secrets, heaps of like hidden bars and cafes and stuff and we are just loving exploring the whole place. It's very different to the other Australian cities and it's really refreshing. It's a very international city yeah. and it feels like we're not in Australia. Yeah, it feels like somewhere completely new, which we're loving because I was so digging something foreign again and this feels different, so it's cool. And we're going to head across the river now, south towards South Bank. Uh, the National Gallery, I think, is there. There are some parks and there, I think, is the tallest building in Melbourne. We were on our way across to the river, but we came across ceiling, and it's this little cafe here in the streets. And I've gone for a chocolate peanut butter smoothie, and Corey's got a mocha, ice mocha, because obviously he wants to have all of the coffee he can while in Melbourne. <laughs> crossing the river over to south side Melbourne river it's a little bit brown like most rivers but um, it's nice I feel so happy that today we have the sunshine we get to see Melbourne in a completely different view super pretty perfect temperature and yeah it just feels really nice today here the year is 2100 and all bird species are extinct mm -hmm. and now <laughs> they are just merely graphics heading towards the National Gallery of Victoria. We are going here because I was having a little browse this morning on Instagram seeing what places were about that we could go to and on the Visit Melbourne IG page it had a pink lagoon and they said that this is found in the gallery at the far end so I thought that looks really cool let's go see it and galleries are always cool too but this place really really nice really interesting like the cultural centre of Melbourne we have this really big structure behind me, it's kind of like an Eiffel Tower shape, I'm not sure what it is, but really enjoying it so far. If 
photo of the mirrored ceiling. There's lots of different collections here. Um, Egyptology, some Greek collections, modern stuff and we are currently in the 17th and 18th century British and European collection and I really like this kind of art. It's very, very interesting. I like this one. It always feels like you're looking at people's nightmares or dreams when you're looking at these types of artwork. At the rear end of the National Gallery is this pink lake, it's called Ponder and it's just a nice place to come and chill out and it's just really cool. You're allowed uh, to go in? You're allowed to walk in it, you can't climb on the statue but you're allowed to just take your shoes off and have a little walk, which some people are doing. It's really tranquil here, isn't it? Where to next? Where to next? Shall we go up, up, up high and have a view of the city? Very sad, we just realised the sky deck is closed, it's open um, Wednesdays to Sundays, today is Monday. Yesterday we didn't do it because it was super cloudy and a bit rainy. I was really looking forward to that. I really wanted to go up to the top and just chill and have a Beer. look at the views, have a drink. But we're here on a Monday. What a shame. Anyway, we are going to go and find now a little refreshment. It's actually heating up, it's getting quite warm, a little bit parched. And then we're going to go over to the parks. Carrot, orange, ginger, cold pressed juice. Corey's got a vegan toasty. Uh, we're just at a place called Broad Green Organic Grocery. Having a little refreshment before we go and have a walk around the park. Oh, okay. We found a skate park in the park. Yeah, really cool vibe here, a little skate shop. Just chilling, watching it. So that was a cool little spot, like nice skate park there and then they also have this little like cafe and skate shop um, with healthy choices um, to keep the kids well fed. Like two minute noodles. No, but they had like <laughs> fruit and stuff there as well. Like obviously you could get snacks, but they do have healthy choices. Um, I just think it's a great way to entertain the youths of the city. Here oh we go. Oh my god, how old are you? The youths of the city. <laughs> the youths of the city. The cool city. kids. Definitely the coolest city in Australia is Melbourne. They were cool. They were cool dudes. Not like us. <laughs> <laughs> I am just falling more and more in love with Melbourne. Absolutely loving it. The more we explore and the more that we see it, especially in today's weather. I just really like it. I think it's quickly becoming our favourite city in Australia. <laughs> Riverside here reminds a lot of South Bank in Brisbane. Loads of restaurants, food options. Uh, they have like a gin garden. Very cool. Uh, a lot more office staff and a uh, very nice place to go for some daytime drinks. Yeah, there's everything that you could want down there. Every kind of food, uh, they have sort of low budget option, they have high class options, loads of dining, loads of bars, and loads of floating river bars as well, which I think are really cool. Um, there's a few options there for renting boats as well down on the river. So yeah, Melbourne River, place to be. Come for a little pit stop on the river and we are at the General Assembly. I have got myself a treat because I've been a very good boy. We're having a little break because our legs are aching a little bit, done lots of walking and we still want to go a bit further down um, along the river. We have a treat for dinner anyway, we're taking you to a vegan all you can eat restaurant yes. uh, right near where we are in the CBD um, and we've actually been there already so we know it's good but we'll show you guys all of that tonight. <laughs> well, we are now at Webb Bridge. We're now going to go over this bridge, across the river and back into CBD. Yeah, I saw a photo and it looks like in the evening this bridge lights up, which I think would be more um, spectacular. Because I guess when you're actually on it, you don't really see kind of how cool it looks. 
It was a drone shot. I think you need drones to appreciate yeah. this bridge. We are staying at Skate Hotel during our stay in Melbourne and it is really good, we're really happy with this place but uh, situated right in the middle of the CBD, really nice, we have a studio, apartment so we have um, a small kitchen area but we've not used it because we like to eat out but yeah, we're super happy, we recommend this place They have a pool, a gym and a free laundry It's dinner time and we've been invited by Veggie Tribe to check out their all-you-can-eat vegan dinner buffet. So we're very excited, we're very hungry after walking so much today and we've got a big hole to fill. Let's go check it all out. Okay, Corey's top tips for eating all-you-can-eat. Number one, do not fill your tray all the way to the top for two reasons. First, you're probably going to fill yourself up for way too much. And the second reason is by the time you get to the end of it, your food's probably cold and you can just half fill it and go back up and get some nice warm food. Um, but the food is super good. I've nearly finished my first tray and I'm going to go try some more. On this channel, we do not encourage gluttony. <laughs> I've gone for round two. Um, more potatoes, sweet potato, mashed potato, pizza, and then I have dessert on the side. Jelly, coconut pudding, and a cake. How was your dinner? Very good, but I only managed one serve. I brought shame upon my family. <laughs> And now I regret it, but honestly, I'm so full. I put a bit too much on my first tray. Corey got two serves in. Yes! Yes! Who had lots. Um, loved the beetroot curry, loved the dessert, the little cakes. It was so tasty. Loved the mashed potato. That was so smooth. That was the yummiest mashed potato I've had in a very long time. <laughs> Super yummy. I really liked the pasta too. Corey loved the um, meatballs and the tomato sauce. He mm. really, really enjoyed that. Everything that had potatoes in and the coconut sagu pudding. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was delicious. So, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. Great little place to be in Melbourne. So, before we leave Melbourne, we have come to Fitzroy. We were told that we'd probably really like Fitzroy, so we thought we'd come here for some brunch. And we have come to the Green Canopy to fill our bellies as usual. <laughs> So I've got a chai latte and Corey has a mocha and they both look so pretty. I've got a little flower mine. I've also ordered a superfood toasted banana bread with fruit on top and Corey's gone for a toasty. Oh, that looks so pretty. I'm so excited to eat it. It's got a nut butter, homemade nut butter, some pretty flowers and berries. So pretty. And Corey's even got a pretty flower on his toasty. Okay, so that is it. Thank you guys for watching our Melbourne adventure vlog. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, we certainly did. It's a beautiful city and we will definitely be back, I think. One day, yeah. yeah. Really enjoyed it here. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to more of our adventures around Australia and soon Europe. Bye!